came home and I told my kids, now I know how Hashem feels. What happened? It was uh, during COVID, we're eating supper together. And I said, order supper for me. I come home, they're finishing the supper, two chevra. And I'm like, you got me food? And they're like, uh, no. And I smiled. And I said, thank you. Thank you? I said, because now I know how Hashem feels. You use my credit card to get food and you forgot about me? Isn't that the way Hashem feels all the time? He gives us everything in life and everything, and we forget about Him. So instead of getting angry and frustrated, I said, thank you. You helped me feel like Hashem. Wow. And then I threw him out of the house. <laughs> and, then I, and then I took away their credit cards. <laughs> no, they were a little surprised. I wasn't angry. But I said, okay, I'll go get food. I said, wow, I got to feel like Hashem. Yeah. So you can go ahead and you can say, Hashem, I know how you feel. I know how you feel. I feel like I want to be embarrassed, but this is my kid. I feel like I want to tell the Umas Sa'ilam that I'd be embarrassed of, of the of the Eden, but we are your children. Hashem, I feel like your kid. That's the tefillah. This is the tefillah. This is what he did for a Hasidish Rebbe to shtitz and support his son who was married and went off to Derech. His son was the son-in-law of the Apteruv, I think. It was a mega, mega shidduch. The mitzvah tans was till six o'clock in the morning. He went off to Derech and he treated him with taiva chesed. He wasn't embarrassed and smoking on Shabbos. Put his arm around him, no yarmulke. For him, <coughs> three and 200 years ago, you're doing the same thing. You are the Reb Chaim Chernovitz of our dar. You're walking in the street with your child. You wish that you didn't have to do this. You know people are going to talk about you. You know it's what she needs. And you are like the eagle that puts the child on top and is willing to take, take the knife. You take those knives, the looks, the people, and you put your arm and you look back. Mother bear, you look back. Don't you be looking at my kid. You make sure that you block those looks. You take those arrows because that's what a mother does and a father does. You understand? They're going to look at you. And then you go ahead, and the first time it's hard, you go walk around the block three times, and you say, Zeh Khalifasi, Zeh Kaparasi, Zeh Tmurasi. And then you never have to look again.